In a survey of 1,197 adults, 45% responded yes to the survey question. We're asked how many adults answered yes and were told to round to the nearest whole person as needed. So because 45% of the adults responded yes, to simplify the question, we need to determine what is 45% of 1,197 adults. We'll answer this question using a percent equation. When writing a percent equation, we can use keywords to help us write the equation, where the word what represents the unknown. In this case, the unknown is the number of adults responding yes, and we use the variable n to represent the unknown. Of means multiplication, and is means equals. Looking at the question again, for the word what, we'd have the unknown, which is the variable n. Is means equals. Whenever we're given the percentage, we must convert the percent to a decimal, and we can do this two ways. One way is to drop the percent sign and divide by 100, or we can drop the percent sign and move the decimal point to the left two places. Either way, 45% as a decimal is 0 0.45, and then we have of 1,197, so we have times 1,197. Notice how to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. And now we'll find this product on the calculator. 0 0.45 times 1,197 is 538.65. But remember, this represents a certain number of adults, so we're told to round to the nearest whole number or nearest person. Which means you round to the ones place value. Notice how we have an eight in the ones place value. And digit to the right is a six. Because the six is five or more, we round up. And therefore, 538.65 would round to 539. So to answer the question, 539 adults answered yes to the survey question. I hope you found this helpful.